suspended floor heating systems can be installed in either retrofit or new build installations and comprise of two key elements 15 mm polybutylene barrier pipe and double heat spreader plates applied above joist level. Prior to laying the floor heating installation you'll need to insulate between the joists normally using 50 mm polystyrene foam insulation. This will sit on battens supported at either side of the joist and will finish probably about 15 to 20 mm below the top of the joist level. The double heat spreader plates are 450 mm wide and made to fit between standard 450 mm center joists. This will set the pipes on average 225 mm apart. The pin down into position allowing enough room to return the pipe round to the next joist through a pre-prepared notch. The double heat spreader plates can be spaced to fit. Alternatively, they can be lapped. This avoids the need to cut them. The heat spreader plates are simply pinned into position to secure them whilst the pipe is being installed. When we start to lay the circuit of 15mm barrier pipe, leave enough on the end to connect to the manifold and then simply start laying it by pressing it into the grooves in the heat spreader plate. When we come to the end of each run, we'll need to take the pipe through a pre-prepared notch in each joist. But please be aware of building regulations with regards to the size and position of notches within joists. We simply take the pipe round in the spreader plate and into the next spreader plate and secure the pipe using a nail type clip leaving enough room for the return pipe to also exit through the same notch. At alternate ends of each pipe run you'll need to return the pipe into the next groove of the double heat spreader plate keeping a nice smooth radius on the pipe as it's bent in. Continue working backwards and forwards in a meander pattern until the floor is complete. When the installation of the suspended floor heating system has been completed, this can be finished with either 18mm chipboard or traditional floorboards, whichever is preferred. Take care not to damage the pipework during the installation of the floor finish.